Hi everybody, this is The Emperor Speaks and I'm back with uh, another uh, video, but this time I want to talk a little bit about um, Oprah Winfrey and um, the media is reporting that Oprah's spiritual healer has been sentenced to 370 years for the uh, R word that rhymes with date and abuse of 600 women and children. A man who goes by the name John of God, um, and it's something, uh, Oeo de Deus, Deus, um, a man who was subs described once as a spiritual healer to celebrities like Oprah, Win Oprah Winfrey and Naomi Campbell was sentenced to 99 years inside of a Brazilian prison. Um, <clears throat> Oprah's spiritual healer has been found guilty of R and abusing over 600 women and young girls. He was initially found guilty of a series of abuse allegations four years ago. Last week, Brazilian courts found more victims and increased um, the man of God's sentence of an, uh, to an additional 99 years in prison. This sentence brought his total prison time to an unprecedented 370 years, 9 months, and 15 days. Additionally, he has been ordered to pay thousands in compensation for moral damages to the victims. As a gavel struck, the room was filled with a mix of relief and disbelief, knowing that this self-proclaimed healer's reign of terror was finally coming to an end. Prosecutors say that this man also ran a baby um, trafficking operation where newborn children were sold to childless couples. Young girls were reportedly held captive in remote Brazilian farms where they were forced to produce babies before being unalived after 10 years of giving birth. One activist whose investigations led to John's arrest said she spoke to women from Europe, the U.S., and Australia who bought Brazilian babies for as much as $50,000. Among John's other celebrity fans are former President Bill Clinton, actor Shirley MacLaine, model Naomi Campbell, and former Brazilian President Luiz Inacio, uh, Inacio Lula da Silva. And I may have butchered that name. So... Listen to the way Oprah speaks about this person who's been accused of such horrific crimes. We've been talking about uh, John of God. Uh, Ernie Chu first went to Brazil in 2002 to see John of God. He went to support a friend there, but ended up experiencing a healing of his own. John of God removed an egg-sized tumor from his back. He says he was giving no anesthesia, before or during the surgery. What we're about to show you is very graphic footage of that procedure. So anyway, um, so this just goes on and shows a procedure that was performed without anesthesia that supposedly was successful. But um, this is not the first time uh, Oprah has been linked to some very questionable spiritualists or people with very questionable backgrounds in the spiritual community. So I'm just kind of curious as to know, you know, what's going on with her and why is she always linked to people that are supposedly or allegedly uh, linked to some type of crimes like this against humanity, mainly women and children. Uh, especially, you know, we, we know and have some of you may have heard we don't know this, but we we heard, um, you may have heard about her school in Africa and what happened over there and the uh, link and connection to her and Jeffrey Epstein and being on that island and being on, um, coming to that island. So all of this, uh, what does this have to do with her? And, and, and generally, you know, I'm from the South and we say if it, 
you know, if it smells, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it is a duck. So, uh, or tell me who your friends are and I tell you who you are. So, I mean, what is this about our spiritual leaders where, you know, we're not able to discern uh, whether or not they have ill intent or why are so many falling um, from grace and into darkness. So what is happening and why is she aligning herself with these type of individuals? Spirit. Okay. Um, the cards that fell out was the... <laughs> we got a lot of pinnacles here. Um, three cards fell out. The very first one is the Queen of Pinnacles in reverse. All of these cards are in reverse. The Queen of Pinnacles in reverse. So a lot of deceit and, and financial independence. So this, these, these alignments are because of money. Everything is because of money. Um, doing whatever it takes um, in order to, you know, maintain their wealth and maintain their status. A whole lot of deceit um, and devious behavior. So she, you know, allegedly is a part of this community of, of spiritual wickedness. Um, the next card I got uh, was a five of pentacles in reverse, indicating spiritual poverty, just just a mess spiritually. <laughs> uh, a lot of karma um, that, you know, will be headed in her direction as a result of being connected to individuals like this and being uh, or enabling individuals like this or, or, you know, enabling through connections and or funneling or, or, or putting together um, opportunities to disenfranchise those who are vulnerable. And then the Three of Pentacles came in reverse as well, indicating a lot of disharmony um, in disorganization, which is why, you know, things were happening the way that they were happening. Someone who is as powerful as Oprah, when I think about what happened at her school with those girls at that school, how do you not know? How do you not stay on top of that? How do you be Oprah Winfrey, this uh, mega uh, millionaire and, and media mogul, and not know what's happening? in your own camp. Surely, you know, you've got advisors, you've got a team of people um, that keeps you apprised of what's happening, you know. So there's a lot of disorganization. That's why information comes out. Uh, there's a lot of sloppiness, a lot of carelessness, um, and, you know, people just seemingly not being concerned about getting caught because they think that these are, are crimes against people who have no voice and, and, and uh, have no stake. No one's going to miss them. Okay. So um, what I have next is the Knight of Swords indicating that there's going to be some truth seeking. Somebody's going to come in telling the truth about the situation, um, which is what we're seeing play out with the court system. And it may be something that implicates further involvement from her or someone in her camp. Spirit, give me more on this Knight of Swords. What more can are we going to find out about Oprah and her involvement with this John of God? Oops, got a lot of cards here, just one card. You got a Knight of Wands, so some there might be uh, further implications in which um, this person is going to try to get some type of plea deal. So he's going to tell on a lot of folks. He's going to try to implicate others in order to get a lighter sentence. That's what I'm getting. And this may have a international reach, and her name may come up. Thank you, Spirit. Give me more on this uh, Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, we got the Seven of Wands indicating there's going to be, um, her, she's going to be trying to defend herself and stand up for herself. 
um, and, and against these allegations and implications? Um, her goal is to kind of maintain control over her image, so she's certainly going to do her best to come out smelling like a rose. And um, Seven of Cups, where, you know, she's going to do what she can to spin this to, you know, create an illusion that she is a great uh, Oprah Winfrey who um, does no wrong or can do no wrong. She's going to, you know, try to manipulate the situation using her power influence. Um, but that's that's waning, as indicated and confirmed by this judgment card. Judgment is going to be upon her and... Um, those who are involved in this, if she is involved, this is all alleged and for entertainment purposes. But yeah, their their judgment has been called on this situation, and there will be some sense of reciprocity and equal give and take and balance restored, where these victims will uh, be financially compensated and. Those who have lost their lives, some karmic debt will have to be paid by those who inflicted um, such heinous crimes against innocent, innocent people. <clears throat> That's what we have um, in the cards. Please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell. If you like the vibe, I would love to have you um, a part of our little community. Take care of yourself and each other.